who's this guy named Courtney Burgess? Like, what's the issue between both of y'all? I came across this video where he made a comment talking about how you was in the room and, you know, you witnessed Diddy hit Ja Rule from the back or Ja Rule hit Diddy from the back. I don't know. It was something like that, man. Let me see if I can find a video before you can see it. Gene Bill, I'm looking at him. He's watching Ja Rule get hit in the butt with uh, plugs. And that's on the back of the, the book, the official book. Damn, so that, that's the plugs that uh that was used on Ja Rule? Yeah. So he he Damn. telling the story. I'm listening to him. What man sit there watch two men have sex? Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't hear. Hey, take this bullshit, bro. Man, first and foremost, how he know how the butt plugs look? How did he know how the butt plugs look? Was he there? Second of all, if everybody who heard the story and stuff, I never said that Puff was hitting Ja Rule or did nothing because I wasn't even in the room to see anything that happened. Let's get that straight. It was two girls, two men in that room. It was two girls and two men in that room. I don't know what the hell happened. Like I said, when me and Jai Cousin got into it and I threw them up against the piano, they ran out the room because of the ruckus. Point blank. Point blank. Now, he want to make the story what he want to be because he's a liar. He's a liar in so many different ways. And a dude just blew him out the water. Don't want to mention nobody else platform, but a dude uh, named Corey from Too Strong blew him out the water. Showed how he lied about the feds coming into his house and taking all his equipment and taking everything from him. All his media stuff, his phone, his laptop, his computer, his, his uh, 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 producing equipment. He said the feds took all of that shit. He lied about the dates. He lied about the time. His lawyer even straightened him out and said that the marshals never went in his house. They was just to, there to subpoena him. The dude's a liar. He's trying to do a money grab. You understand? He was a failed producer. He want to talk sh Now he's going around saying he's doing this for Pac. All the time we've been talking about Tupac and Puff and all this for all these years, he pops up out the blue and he was Pac's best friend. This dude is a liar, brother. He's so much a liar, he's sitting up there and he want to fool himself and talk about what he want to do to Big Gene. Bro, what Gene's supposed to be doing when you doing what you say you want to do? You don't want that, bro. You don't want that, bro. You talk about Brick City and Newark. And this, man, I'm in Brick City all the time. I'm in Newark all the time, brother. I got family. I've been going to Newark and been hanging out in Newark since the Peppermint Lounge. On Tuesdays, brother. I've been hanging out in Newark since the Peppermint Lounge. So you can say all the stuff that you want to say, but it's going to come out, brother. Because you know how I know you a liar? For instance, you got on the news and you said that Diddy was having sex with stars and young kids. With young kids. That means you was watching pornography with kids so you a pedophilia yourself. When you saw that on camera, by law, you were supposed to contact the authorities and tell them. Instead of doing that, brother, you was trying to sell it on the black market underground. They already know this. Before you even start running your damn mouth and you said you saw that, 
I said three to four weeks ago, watch the feds snatch him up. When I heard you say that, I said the feds gonna snatch him up if they ain't already got to him. But what they need to do is charge you. Because if you watching pornography with minors, you just as guilty as the person who did it. You just as guilty. So you want to talk about, you want to make up lies about what Big Gene saw and what Big Gene was there. Man, listen here. You told on yourself. And I might do the feds a, a favor. I might send them a copy. Because I know people down at the Southern District of what you said when you said it. But they already know. They already know. So you're going to tell who you got those tapes from. You're going to tell how they come came about. And you better hope that you was lying about seeing the kids on those tapes. Because you're going to be held accountable for it, brother. Since you want to talk shit about Big Gene. Since you want to make up lies about Big Gene. You've already stamped. You already put a stamp on the charges that's going to be against you because you said it on the air. You said it so millions can tape it and hear it. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, there, were, there, were, there, were, there was kids. There was kids on there. It's about two kids under age. When did you tell the authorities about that? When they subpoenaed you and brought you in, you pervert. You watch some kids get raped. And you said nothing. You sat around and tried to write a book and make one. Man, I wrote my books two years ago. And they still doing good. How you gonna say you wrote a book? But you don't know what's in it. Bro, you a liar. You came out the blue. You used Pac uh, code name. That white dude ain't know nothing about Pac code name on that first book. You played a part in that and gave him Pac code name. I don't believe Todd knew anything. Chris Todd knew anything about Pac code name. What is Jamal Tim Wood or some of Tim T's Wood or Tim Wood or something like that? He gave that to that dude. Then he tried to, you know, I don't have nothing to do with writing it and everything like that. And then when I saw it was a bunch of lies, even when it went back to the part where it said uh, Gene Deal uh, 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 stopped um, Quincy Jones' daughter from uh, drinking the pee out the pitcher, wasn't even me. It was Wolf. I did a show on that years ago. Told the truth about it. I ain't never tried to be nobody hero. And what I mean by that is that I never took credit for something I didn't do at all. Wolf stopped that. I wasn't even paying attention to the table because we're in a place that I got to pay attention to shit around us. So my man, it's going to come out how much a liar you are. You're going to have to gum, you have to go back under the rock that you came out of. The rock that you came from under, you're going to have to go back. You making niggas around you look bad. You making niggas from Newark. I know some real solid brothers out there from Newark. Shout out Lamont. Shout out Black. Shout out my people. I know some real solid dudes out there. You making them look bad, bro. And when they see, when their lies come out, you might have to knuckle up wherever you go. Because you a straight 
band. Nah, he a hand. Nah, he both of them. Check out the acronyms. Bitch ass nigga. Ho ass nigga. So this is the guy that's behind the Kill Porter book? He's behind the tapes that he claimed that he got. And he even lied and said, yo, I spoke to Kim Porter. Man, Kim wouldn't even talk to no crab ass nigga like him. I spoke to Kim Porter. You lying. You was a liar. You lying on the dead, bruh. This is the guy who said that he didn't write it, but he gave the information to Chris Todd and Chris Todd wrote the book. They got the information off the flash drive, off her journal or whatever. Come on, man. They robbed the people. People are looking for some salacious shit. People are looking for some, 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 some type of excitement somewhere. And they, they want to hear the bullshit. They want to read about the bullshit. No, how, no matter how much lies it was. Shit is crazy to me, man. But that's what you get on the internet now. So pretty much you feel like he's in line about having all these sex tapes. Bruh. You have the federal government going and putting people behind bars for having pictures of kid pornography. You understand? You got the federal government putting people behind bars with tapes of child pornography. It's two things you can't do in this country and call yourself getting away with it. That's child pornography and beating or fucking with some animals. They will put you under the jail for fucking up some animals, beating some animals, misuse of animals, animal cruelty, and child pornography. This dude was watching child pornography as he said himself. I'm not making this shit up, my. You need to go, you need to tell your engineers to go back and when I come to this part, put in your story when he said himself. Yeah, there was kids on the tapes. And it shows I wasn't lying. How you know it was kids on the tape? Having sex with Puff. Having sex. How you know that? Unless you watched it, you pervert. Get out of here, man. You ain't no real man. You some old clown ass nigga that's trying to portray, yo, I'm from Newark. I don't, all that's telling me is you a long way from motherfucking home, nigga. Don't mean nothing to me. You saying where you from don't mean nothing to me.